share tweet rep. Rashida Tlaib has come under fire for continuing to make horrendous anti-Semitic remarks. Not only does she refuse to apologize, but now she is calling those of us who are sick and tired of her disgusting hatred of the Jewish people and Israel, racist idiots. Well, President Trump torched the rabid anti-Semite, you'll love this. Appearing Monday evening on NBC's Late Night with Seth Meyers, Rep. Rashida Tlaib was unapologetic about her remarks regarding the Holocaust, claiming racist idiots had twisted her words and quipped that she will speak like a fourth grader in an effort to be better understood. However, the reason Rep. Tlaib decided to appear on NBC's Late Night was due to her previous anti-Semitic remarks that had people up in arms. Tlaib, who has made several anti-Semitic statements since arriving in Washington last year, is yet again under fire for falsely claiming Palestinians offered a safe haven for Jews fleeing the Holocaust, whitewashing Palestinian opposition to Jewish immigration and its leadership's collaboration with Adolf Hitler, reported Breitbart. There's kind of a calming feeling I always tell folks when I think of the Holocaust, and the tragedy of the Holocaust, and the fact that it was my ancestors, Palestinians who lost their land, and some lost their lives, their livelihood, their human dignity, their existence in many ways, have been wiped out, and some people's passports," Tlaib said on a recent episode of Yahoo New Skullduggery podcast. It was that podcast where Tlaib revised Jewish history by painting the Palestinians as some type of peaceful presence which welcomed the Holocaust Jews with open arms that caused such an uproar. And that was it for President Donald Trump, whose daughter Ivanka converted to Judaism and has raised her children as devout Jews. Democrat Rep. Tlaib is being slammed for her horrible and highly insensitive statement on the Holocaust, the president said on Monday. She obviously has tremendous hatred of Israel and the Jewish people. Can you imagine what would happen if I ever said what she said, and says? That's when Nancy Pelosi sided with Tlaib and demanded the president and GOP apologize to the Michigan congresswoman. Republicans' desperate attempts to smear at Rep. Rashida and misrepresent her comments are outrageous. President at real Donald Trump and House GOP should apologize to Rep. Tlaib and the American people for their gross misrepresentations. Pelosi wrote, after the majority of Americans, including President Trump blasted Rep. Tlaib's remarks, she ended up on NBC's Late Night with Seth Meyers and once again she doubled down and had the gall to call anyone who disagreed with her racist idiots. Now, Americans are weighing in on Rep. Tlaib's recent remarks and just like the president, they torched her. Every part of Rep. Tlaib's quote re-Israel's history in the Holocaust is wrong, there's zero context issue, she knows it and those reporting otherwise are dupes, useful idiots or worse, tweeted Benjamin Weingarten, senior editor for The Federalist. Rep. Rashida Tlaib just stated last night that she needs to dumb down her message so the racist idiots will understand it. To be clear. She is specifically talking about Democrats, right? She said they have a fourth grade mentality, tweeted Chadwick Hunter. The only racist idiot is Rep. Tlaib. If she were smart and didn't actually mean her words the way they sounded, she would have immediately apologized and then explained herself, tweeted Katrina Wilde. Ben Shapiro, the editor of The Daily Wire and Devout Jew, weighed in on Rep. Tlaib. I think she perfectly well understands the actual history here. But the revisionist history here serves anti-Semitic goal is real is illegitimate and ought to be abolished. She's a supporter of the boycott, divestment and sanctions movement, Shapiro said on the story with Martha McCallum. She along with Ilhan Omar is part of an anti-Semitic contingent of the Democratic Party now being protected by the Democratic leadership, added Shapiro. Let the Democrats become the party known for protecting disgusting anti-Semites, they are also the party that defends killing babies up to nine months in the womb. The Democrats have become the party of racists, bigots, 
and extremists, and Rep. Rashida Tlaib's horrendous remarks won't be forgiven or forgotten any time soon. Share tweet.